What if something wrong is happening in your interview? For example, during your interview time, a dog might be barking or a baby might be crying and sometimes you know, your mom might be coming and knocking up the door. At that situation, how exactly are you supposed to respond? Well, if these questions are there for you, then this video is for you because I'm going to share two important tips which you can keep in your mind and effectively imply in your interview. And trust me, by trying it out, your interview process as well as we interviewers will be really impressed by your responses. Hey everyone, my name is Pavan. I'm an interview specialist. I've trained more than 600 plus students across worldwide in terms of different college interviews as well as for different working professionals entering into their dream jobs. So answering towards your question, guys, it's absolutely normal, you know, when a virtualist interview is happening that, you know, you're going to get background disturbance. It could be through a dog. It could be through a baby. It could be through your family members, your friends, all this aspect. It's natural. But first important suggestion is that guys try to avoid it. Okay. Try informing your family members, cousins, neighbors, whoever it is, tell them not to enter into your room or neither to bang your doors during the interview process. Because at that time, you'll understand what kind of personality you are. Because being an interview, you know, I can understand who you are. Okay, very simple. It's a reflection of your personality. If somebody is knocking up the door or something is barking, you know, we as an interview, we'll understand that, okay, this candidate has do not have a, that kind of planning ability. So what is planning? It's like I priorly do something or I plainly keep a plan or certain kind of targets before I try to achieve something. So, you know, so that I will understand, okay, this candidate does not have the planning uh, attitude. That's the reason, you know, he's getting so much disturbance from his background or other kind of aspect. And I know some cases will be really genuine. I totally agree with it. But, you know, that will be a negative marking for you. Now, second important tip which I can share with you is that in case if there's such kind of situations as a background disturbance, kindly unmute yourself, turn off your camera and then go back resolve it come back and apologize to the interviewers and then continue with your interview this is the second important tip okay that itself will show that okay, you know you are very positive and affirmative person and still you are agreeing with your mistake and then you are processing with it see when i tell you know interview is just a reflection of your personality we being interviewers you know we can get to know the crux of each and everything which you're going to present so what really matters is about you know how well you're trying to respond to that situation now, here comes to my third point that is mainly about maintain your confidence. Very important. I can give you as a bonus tip for this. Maintain your confidence. As soon as you're coming back, do not get the nervousness. Oh God, what my interviewers are going to feel or what my interviewers are going to think about me. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. But maintain your confidence because that really matters, you know. And, you know, we can sincerely apologize for the things and you cannot control. You cannot get control of the things which is not under your hand, right? So at that situation, maintain your confidence because that will really play an important role. So these are the three important tips on how we can react to the situations which are not under your control. And do let me know your views regarding it. Please do like, share and subscribe this video. And if you want more contents on any particular aspect, do let me in the comment box and do let me know your views about this video. So thank you. Wishing you a wonderful day. Goodbye.